Hello world and welcome to another episode of Ubar. In today's episode we are going to build a real-time application using AppSync and Amplify. If you want to know more about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post videos on Tuesdays and on Thursdays, so let's get started! <laughs> This is another episode on my series building an end-to-end -end application using Amplify, AppSync and many other AWS services. We already have the application, we have added authentication, we have added machine learning, we have added search capabilities, so a lot of things have gone on. Today we are focusing on building real-time applications, meaning that if somebody changed something everybody will see the notification right away. So this is very useful for building really interactive applications in real time. I think this video is going to be interesting because when I was building this I find some issues and I solved them. They were not that hard but I think if you are doing things as linear as the documentation tells you, you might find the same exact issues and if you know the ways around it will help you out. Another thing before we start with the, uh, with the code is that I will be interviewing Nader David. He is the developer advocate for Amplify and AppSync. He knows a lot about this and I have a poll going on in uh, my community tab where you can go and ask questions to him. I will pass those questions that are relevant during my interview. So go and check that out. And then without further ado, let's go to the code. So, this is where we left our application in the previous episode. We added the delete and added the edit so we can add tags and then we added the capability of search and that was what we have. But if I log in with another user in a different browser, so I will open Safari here, and I already created another user, Marcia1, and I will log in. Basically, this user cannot see any of the images, and I would like that the users all can see everybody's images. What I would like this to happen is that also the user that create the image is the one that is able to delete it, and edit it, so the rest cannot do it. So basically we need to change in a way the uh, ways that we give permission to our images. So if you remember when we did this application in one of the first videos, in the Amplify, in the schema, we added this authorization rule. And this authorization rule, what it does, it allows the owner of the image to create, delete, update, and view the images. And now what we want to do is to separate some of these things to everybody, like the viewing, and leave the create, the delete, and the uh, update only to the owner. So for doing that, it's extremely simple. So what we are going to do is just to modify the schema GraphQL with new authorization rules. So I just brought a new set of authorization rules. I will uh, save this so it looks better. And now what we have is that the owner, with the field owner, can create, update and delete the pictures. So then everybody can see everybody's pictures. And this is what we are going to do. So now we are going to open a terminal and do amplify update, uh, amplify push, sorry. And we are going to push this change to the cloud. So then when we try this again, everybody will be able to see everybody's images. So we just tell uh, Amplify that we want the code to be generated and everything. And this takes a few minutes and I will come back when this is run. So we are back. Let's go to our browser. So here we have these two images and let's see if we can see them from Safari now. And now they're here. So now we are allowing everybody to see all the images. But what happens if we want to remove this image? We can't. 
Uh, in the console you will see an error, but maybe we should make a pop-up or something showing that the user cannot delete or edit this image because nothing will happen if we try to add a tag. Uh, there is basically an error coming uh, into, into the application. Let's go back to the code and let's do that. This is something quite straightforward. If you want to do it uh, nicer, uh, you go ahead. I'm just going to add an alert because, because I can. So in the delete image, I'm doing an await here. So now I need to do a try and put all this inside a try. And then I have a catch. So let's add all this inside the try. And then if there is an error, we can show an alert. And the same we want to do for the edit. So let's find the edit. Add a tag image here. And again, we have this await. So we will try that. And then we will catch the error. So let's see if this works. Let's go back to Safari and let's try to delete. Good. Let's try to add a tag. Good. And now we can go to Chrome and we can try to delete. And it works. We can add a tag. And this works. So good. We have done the first part. So now the next thing we want to do is add real time support. So for that, we want whenever we upload an image or we delete an image or add a tag that the other users can see the effect right away. So real time works uh, with AppSync and Amplify out of the box. So it comes with this two way connection that the server will send messages to the client whenever there is a change. And for that, we need to subscribe to the subscription. So if we go to our code, and we go to the GraphQL folder, so you can see here subscriptions, and we can see that it have created some for us. The thing that I found out is that because of these uh, rules that we just created, these authorization rules, the create, the delete, and the update are attached to an owner. So we cannot use the uh, rules uh, for subscriptions that comes out of the box with Amplify because if we are a different person, then we will never be getting a notification when somebody create, delete, or update a picture using these things. Only the same uh, person will get notified. So we want to create our own subscriptions, and then we want to trigger them from our homepage. And this, for me, when I was trying this out, was the trickiest part because I didn't realize that uh, <laughs> the owner thing for a long while I was like oh why my subscriptions are not working so you need to create a new uh, subscription and for that it's very very simple so let's do it first for the onCreate and then I will leave you the code for the update and the delete that is basically the same so let's go to Amplify to our schema and in the schema here we can overload our uh, schema GraphQL we will add this Basically, this what we'll do is to add a new method to our subscriptions. It will leave the other ones and it will add these on create new pictures. For delete and update, you just do new on create picture, new on update picture, and new on delete picture. You will find the code as well for everything. And what we'll get back is a picture, and every time uh, this will execute every time the mutation create a picture happens. So then what we need to do is again, go to the terminal and run amplify push. So we can get that in the uh, AWS account and we can start using it right away in our front end code. So here we want to uh, accept this and then we want the generated code because this is what will populate this description uh, in the GraphQL folder that we want as well. So now I will leave this running and I will come back when this is ready. So we are back. So now we should have this description 
in our AppSync. We can check now that our subscriptions in this GraphQL folder has this new onCreate picture. So we want to now and start editing our home page. So let's go to home and here we will start adding things. And maybe removing some lots of uh, console logs. So we want, the first thing I want to do, and I will not do it live because this is a pain, because I want to use subscriptions and subscriptions work so much better with React hooks. I want to migrate this particular uh, file, the home page, the component, to a more modern um, React function so I can use the React hooks. I will not go into the details what React hooks are because I, I, I'm not qualified for that. I will say bullshit. But I will leave you a link in the description box about it and I will also leave you a description box, uh, a link in the description box on how you can do the migration super easy in super simple steps and that's the steps I will be following. So I will do that migration. I will not add any functionality yet. I will just do the migration from this React component into a React function of this component. And then we can start using the, um, the effects, the use effect hook that will help us with the subscription and it makes the code so much neater than having this. I'm sorry for this, but when I started, I always start with these React components because that's what I'm used to. And then when I started um, coding these subscriptions, I realized that this will be so much harder if I will be using React components instead of the functions. So I will come back when this is translated. So this is the article. I will leave the link in the description box. There is uh, 10 steps and if you follow them, you can change it. So let's go from there. Okay, so now we are ready. This looks more or less the same, but it's changed. <laughs> so you will notice it in the code. So now the next step is to add the subscriptions. So for adding the subscriptions, we need to modify the home page. We need to use the use effect. I will create a new one. So that will register the subscription using unobservable. Okay, I did all the changes and let's walk through them. The first thing we want to do is to import that uh, subscription on a new onCreate picture so we can access it. Then I will have a new use effect. This is the one that we had before. This is the new one. So basically when the page load, what it will happen is we'll run this setup subscriptions. Notice the plural because I want um, to then add the on delete and the on update and it will be inside here. So we have this variable uh, on create that is our subscription so we can unsubscribe later. And here I calling the API from Amplify to subscribe to this thing. So whenever a new uh, picture is created, I will receive the subscription. What will happen when a new picture comes? This is an observable, so it's looking uh, to the subscriptions and it will do this. So basically it will set the picture we have a new element in our state that is the picture data. I like to separate it because then it's very easy. I just create this uh, new object here, this part of the state that is the picture. And whenever the picture is updated because of how the use effect works, it will trigger this method that will get all the images again to the state. So this is kind of super simple when we are using the React uh, hooks because now every time the picture is updated, we are getting uh, something from the state again. So it's repopulating the view. And basically using this, we can do the update and the delete as well. So then after we subscribe and we decide what will happen, then we will uh, basically have this unsubscription. So whenever we leave this, it gets unsubscribed. And those are the changes that we did. So now we can test this. I will put my two browsers side by side. So now we have Chrome and a Safari, and I will upload something in Safari. So I will upload again, change picture, and let's see if it happens that it appears in the other side. Up, there is James. 
Now notice that whenever we add a tag, it doesn't appear immediately because we have not added that subscription. So we need to refresh the page, well, we need to refresh Chrome, so the tag appears. But that's something very simple to fix using the same uh, ways that we just done it. So I will do it very quickly so you can see it, but it's, it's something very, very simple after you have mastered it. So, so again, we need to add the uh, subscriptions in here, and then we need to do the changes in the homepage. So I will come back to this code as soon as I have everything ready and we can walk through, but you will see that it's exactly the same that what we had done before. So now the code is done. It's very simple. I just added these two things here because now in our subscriptions we get the two new things because we changed it in our schema so we can import them. And then I added these two variables and I added these two subscriptions in our setup subscriptions. One is calling the delete, the other one is calling the update. All of them are modifying this picture. So that's kind of it. And then we unsubscribe. So we can go back to our browsers and I hope this is refreshed, but let's add a tag. I don't think there, I can add it here. Um, serverless, let's see. Oop, it appears here. Then if I remove uh, the picture of James, it removes. And if I upload a new picture, it comes back. So that's it for the real time. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up when you know what to set up. So I hope this video is useful. You can find all the code as well in GitHub. So that was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. If there are topics of Amplify and AppSync you would like me to cover, let me know in the comments box below. I might or might not be able to add that to this ongoing series, but I will add them in the future if not. So I hope you like it and I see you in the next episode of Wuba. Ciao, ciao.